Music and AI, it's now a thing. But once upon a time, making music took some sort of musical ability and talent. A look at today's top 40 charts might indicate otherwise. But for those unable to make their own kind of music, AI tools offer the opportunity to do something that's all your own. A little help from AI that's got no inherent talent of its own, actually. So what happens when talentless clowns like us attempt to make music with AI? We aren't sure but it sounds like a lot of fun. So let's make our own kind of music and show you how to do it on this episode of The Bad AI Show. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Who's bad? So, Lord Travis, you know what happens if you can't create music? You know what you do for a living? If you can't make music, what do you do for a living? You yeah. listen to other people's music? Yeah, you become a DJ. Like, if you're passionate okay. about it, okay. but you can't make your own music, you become a DJ. Now, of course, today's DJs are a little different than it was for you and I when we were younger, just spitting mm -hmm. other people's music. Today's DJs are actually remixing and creating uh, music of their own. But, you Dude, know, you know what? That is so true. I, I went to um, uh, Ibiza and saw some DJs there. Oh my God, DJs now is a full multimedia experience. Oh, yeah. And I would say with AI, now making visuals will probably be easier than ever. Hell, now using AI, making music is easier than ever. It really is. And we're going to take a look at a couple tools today, but first we're going to blow you away. This just um, happened recently. This dude, I'm not sure what he used for vocals to make it sound like Jay-Z, but if you'll give a listen to uh, to this right here, uh, this is mind blowing. This is all AI created. Yeah. This is Travis AI. Uh. They can never become what they aspire to Born in a cell with no one who can inspire you Your highs are was never as high as those are lie to you Pretending that they live in the sky lying behind your roof Shooting holes up at your ceiling Trying to find the proof Trying to fight the feeling the truth Tied up like the news they been concealing I mean, what is up with this? How The, the tools that we're going to go over don't have, you know, that level of sophistication I'm not sure exactly how somebody created this to uh, to mimic the the rap intonations and stylings of Jay-Z. It's, uh, um, it's, it's really unbelievable. Now, um, there was a DJ, David Guetta, recently um, sampled and made an Eminem version that he was rapping and took Eminem and he was he did it at a concert. Not something that they're selling as a commercial thing, but it's like, hey, Eminem, and then he based Eminem made a chorus through typed text. I don't know how those are done yet. We're figuring that out. Now, if you've paid attention to the whole show uh, of Bad AI and our journey, you know that on one of my websites, AI Telegraph, I've been working on creating a Beatles album. However, they're just text right now. I've asked Chad GPT, give me the lyrics, give me the chords, give me the chorus, give me the bridge, outro, et cetera. I take those, then I go into mid journey and make a song. I haven't made any music yet, which is why the album's not completely completed. I'd like it to actually be songs someday that sound like the Beatles. So that album's about 35% complete. I think when the technology shows up, Joe will be able to complete that further. Let's take a look at a couple of the tools and that might help in getting there. One of them is called boomy.com. Boomy. O O M Y dot com. You can go ahead and register for free. And I think you get to do up to five songs for free. This is uh, royalty free music, right? So, mm. um, what we've done in the past, if I need music for an NFT set, for a trailer, for a show, I go to audioblocks.com where I pay a fee to be able to use whatever music and sound effects they have and then include them. Well, I don't necessarily have to do that because I can go here and click create my song and then I can pick Trev, what, what style should we go with here? Electronic rap beats, relaxing meditation, global. Ooh, let's do a low. Let's do some lo-fi Joe. Let's some do some lo-fi lo here. Some grainy, grainy beats. 
All right, so we're going to go in here. Now we can pick from here. Now, remember, what we're going to create has never been created before. It's going to be a okay. variation that has never been used before. So let's go with the uh, the rainy nights, lo-fi, hip-hop, dreamy, and click create a song. Now it's not, going. There's up. not a whole lot of, of uh, modification here, it seems yet, Joel. It's like click oh. this, click this, and it's working the magic on the back so far. Yet. Right. So this is yeah. creating the, the basics for it. Um, okay. And true, this is it's still, a you know, a, an earlier use tool. And so the sophistication that you might be looking for might not be quite available. But the fact that it's creating with AI a brand new song um, that's never been heard before. Now, whether or not it's good is about to be determined. And we didn't really we're not really able with this tool to give it prompts to tell it, you know, okay, I want this type of song. We're going to look at another tool here in a minute that's mm -hmm. going to give us a feel of that. Yeah. I like some crashing drums. I like a thumping bass guitar sound, right? I want a melodic this, a melodic that. All right. Here we are. We are here now. Yeah. Uh. Listening to bad AI again today. Here we go. We're going to make some things and we'll create. Here's a song, play along, sing along. If you like, ride a bike, get a trike. Don't grab your mic. All right, so we can go up here and we can give it a name if we want to. Um, we're going to call it Trav's Trike Rap. And uh, we're going to give it the artist name, Travis Wright. And we're not going to put any Wait, tags. I got a here. tricycle. Uh. I'm going to hide this from people because we don't want people to, to see this. I'm going to pause it. But we can add vocals. So if we want to. I can add auto vocals to magically turn any spoken audio into a complete song. So if you already okay. know, you can record your Which voice. You could go into chat GPT, right? And upload the words, or do you have to do your own? Well, it says you can up, it needs to be an audio file, okay, right? Okay. Um, custom vocal to record anything over your song, or you can do auto vocals. Doesn't this kind of create, I've heard these before where they kind of create like some mumbly things now here's where we can go in and we can change some of the uh the things about the composition we can change the tempo of the song lead bass chord and drum density we will you know mm. if you want more booming yeah. drums we can go in here and do that yeah. and then we can also go into uh to the song here and let me click on edit it's a minute 35 we can rearrange it so there are sections to the song. Let's say, oh, I want this one to be first. What's it, now? What, what does this sound sound like? And it's going to play through these measures right here. And I want to put this one here and I want to put this one at the end. So it gives you the ability wow. to uh, to move some stuff around here by section. That's pretty cool. So it definitely does have a little bit more extensibility. You can play around with it, not in the initial section. But as you get in and it starts creating it, then you can add and subtract and do things. So now what's going on? It's, is it is it generating it again? It, yeah, it's generating because I moved some of the the uh, the blocks, the measures around. So it's recreating the song. And then you can go ahead and download that when you're done. Uh, I have not tried adding vocals yet. I, in fact, last mm. time I used Boomy, I didn't see that. So that might be a new feature nice. that okay. you can put vocals with it. And uh, here it comes like <laughs> look at this i can change up the uh, the instruments i can i yeah. say oh i want acoustic guitars oh nice so you could totally use these to make yourself youtube shorts or youtube videos or songs for whatever purpose you need yeah so it's taking the the basic uh structure of the song and now i can say well let's do it with classical strings instead This is fun. So I think you can get lost playing with this tool right here, Joel. Seems to me like, right? Oh, you can get Dolby remastering to make it the highest of the quality. Right, right. So there's some pretty cool features here. This one is boomy.com. The other one that I want to take a look at, Trav, is called SoundDraw. S O U N D R A W dot I O sound draw stop searching for the song you need. Create it royalty free music AI generated for you. Click create wow. music. Dude, these got little, like, what are the little visuals that's with it too? Like there's like some cool. So I guess you make the song and then you add a visual. That's beautiful. 
Yeah. So I'm signed in here. And what you do is you choose how long do I want the song to be? Let's let's Ooh. do a uh, one minute song. Okay. And let's make, the, shorts. let's make the tempo fast. Okay. Let's okay. do a fast song. Now, what uh, what kind of mood are we in? You want to do epic. fast? Does epic angry? sound good to you? Epic, epic funny and epic. weird. Epic sounds Mysterious. good. Mysterious. OK, so I clicked Epic. Now what it's going to do is it's going to create a bunch of songs, right? It's going to give me a lot of options. Boom. There they are right before your eyes. Wow. Here are a bunch of one minute songs that um, have not been done before. Let's just click this first one and see what it sounds like. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we talk about all things artificial intelligence, including this music. I mean, if you were doing, if you needed some music for a track, this sounds like a kind of a corporate type, you know, background mm. track that you can use. And notice here how you can go in and change the settings here for medium, high, very high, low. So if we wanted to come out high energy right at the beginning, I'm going to click yeah. very high. Now, listen. Yeah. Right from the beginning. It's right got from that the beginning. Then you're going to go into low. You're going to be like, mm -hmm, take a nap. Right. Look at this one. Let's see. Right here, they come with their own. Nice. They come with their own images already. That's nice. This is Joel's Epic Jam. It's building up, building up all its power. <laughs> So I can go in here and I could say create similar music. I can download this music. I can favorite. We didn't get this to hear music. the drop. We didn't get to hear Joel's epic drop. Damn didn't it! Hear the drop. Oh, let's let's just forward to it right here. Nice. That's what I'm going to call this one. Joel's epic drop. See how easy this is. This is so simple mm -hmm. anybody can wait a second that's this. what you called your bathroom journey earlier you said this is jo i just had joel's epic drop that was my epic drop there it was go. a corn <laughs> of course it was <laughs> so it tells you on the site too some things that are really important as far as you know licensing goes um technically you don't own the copyright to the songs but they say it's royalty free it allows you to use it however you want but they don't want you like putting it up on spotify its own so they're keeping the copyright so that people don't just blast out all of this ai generated music to spotify just to try to make some money with mm -hmm. it uh, but as long as you are using it for whatever you know you're creating songs and uh, if you're putting your own vocals over it then it's good you can go to their page at their faq and read about all of this here they all are downloadable as wave files and it's uh, that's it's so crazy. awesome i'm gonna use those on the shorts man we're gonna have some fun using that stuff because i know a lot of times like I go in there and try to create a song or use a song that's already in YouTube. And then it will say, oh, this is a copyright violation. I'm like, well, asshole, why is it? Why can I click it inside your app? <laughs> right. It's like, what the hell? Why is it in there? Maybe you're a travel blogger. So it's, it's going to give us themes right here for uh, travel. And I'm going to change the mood because if maybe we're I'm a Travis blogger, then we're going to be laid back, laid back travel is what oh, I'm nice. asking. That's my favorite to do. Can you have smoke marijuana. Is that an option? Uh, I think that would either be euphoric or okay. dreamy. Uh, okay. let's, let's listen to one of these hip hop style laid back travel. Yeah, I'm traveling. I'm on a cruise ship. I'm going around the world and I'm laid back hanging with my girl. Instant tracks in your face. No talent in the space. Just make music with ai with sound drop boomy yo that's my guy yeah Aww, yeah <laughs> it's fun it's like it's just now i have not seen this video preview so if you put your oh video, shit now we get a video preview of our song video you too? drop your video oh, here shit. and it will put the music with it okay so it's not going to render a video but we've got enough other tools that uh, that we're yeah. using 
and many of them, you know, we're, we've got shows that are in the queue that are going to show you how to do some really cool stuff with video. I hope you guys like this. We're, we're having fun doing this, showing you the yep. tools and updating you on the latest news in the AI world. Yeah, I tell you what I what 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 I'm focusing on next, Joel, is that so as I'm working on this one project around corn, right? The corny kingdom of cornucopia. And what I find is when I tell Chat GPT for certain things, and then I get to that, this is the accepted truth of this, but then you come back later and then I just forgot that you had that conversation. So it's not keeping track of some of those things. So I have uh, discovered a way to create my own chat GPT and power it um, to, uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to explore that next. That's going to be one of the things that I'm going to be working on. Maybe we'll have a show on that in the future as I figure it out, but I want to tell it these things. I'm like, here are the 39 episodes we're going to do. Remember that. Don't ever forget that these are what those are because I don't like coming in saying, oh, give me this. And then it's coming up with new random names because it didn't remember any of the people. Yeah, but can't you go to your previous conversation on chat? I have. That's what I am doing is I'm going to that particular conversation and adding that. But still, if, if you have to like log out or log back in, it seems to still forget some of that stuff because in its mind, it doesn't keep any of that data. And so I am building most of my stuff within the Corny Kingdom chat GPT for chat conversation. But what happens when you go there sometimes and it says, oh, sorry, your chats aren't there. Oh, uh, we're, we're working on reviving your chats. So we're exploring. We are not, we are in this thing as much as can be as far as people who are not, you know, machine learning coders, right? We are consuming AI and creating with these AI tools. And we're going to be sharing, continue to share these fun things that we're finding along the way that could hopefully maybe inspire you as we're finding the fun, good stuff within technology. Sure, there's a lot of negative stuff that can make us all sad and angry, but let's look at this stuff to how can we uplift humanity and use these technologies to superpower you. Joel, you are a superhuman now with this stuff. So make sure you subscribe, review, whether you're watching and or listening, we appreciate that. And join our community at discord.gg forward slash nifty. That's our community that gives you access to all of the things in the bad media world, whether it's the bad crypto podcast, the nifty show the bad ai show our nfts uh, myself and travis and riles we're all there and uh, we want you guys to come join us there we'll catch you on the next episode until then stay bad